How do you plan your uh, descents and to your destination? What I like to do is, uh, I like to plan a descent as uh, 500 feet per minute uh, because uh, most passengers, they can handle the pressure change at 500 feet per minute. If I'm by myself and I'm in a hurry, I like to stay above the bumps or something down low, then uh, I might take it a 1,000 or even higher. But uh, in general, um, I plan for 500 feet per minute. So right now we're uh, 30 miles from our destination and we're 6,500 feet, and where I want to be is at 1,800 feet for the pattern, but um, it, it math works better if I say it's two, it's two. So I have 4,500 feet to lose, and that means at uh, 500 feet per minute, I have eight, nine minutes, nine minutes. And right now my ground speed's showing 174, so that means that uh, basically three miles a minute and so that's uh, 1827 miles and I am within a mile of that. So what I'm going to do is when I get to that point, I'm going to hit the uh, altitude off the, uh, the uh, autopilot. I'm going to pre-select 2000 uh, just because I'm lazy, I'm not going to hand fly it. And I hit the, the pre-select the arm on that. And then I'm going to start down with the trim. There's 27 miles. I like to go fast, and it's a fairly calm day, so what I'm going to do is go at the top of the green, I'm not going to enter the yellow, and what that means is, is that I start pulling off uh, manifold pressure, otherwise I'm going to run everything the same, and I'm going to get down to about, here it is, about 162, so I start pulling it back, there's 22 inches, looks like we can maintain that. And I'm just going to run that down, pulling the manifold pressure back as I need to, to uh, stay in the green. And if it's smooth air, you can go faster, but uh, realize that's a risk. And you run into the bumps, then you can stand the chance of uh, over-G in the airplane. And uh, on a good bed scale, um, that's bad. Pretty good crosswind today. All right, so we're going a little bit faster than need to, so I'm going to pull some more manifold pressure off. Fortunately, it's smooth here. I can slow my descent rate a little bit. Yeah, I'm doing 600 feet per minute, 700 feet per minute, so that's a bit too much. And I planned for 500. There you go, 490. All right, that's good. Top of the green, I just kind of keep pulling the manifold pressure back, watching my speed, keeping my situational awareness. Where am I? How far I have to go? What's the traffic around me? Um, now is the time to start thinking about my descent checklist and uh, running through that and get to the, uh, the tank with the most fuel. I want to use the tank with the most fuel for the approach because what I don't want to do is be really close uh, to having the fuel run out of that tank on the ground or in the air when I'm doing an approach or doing a pattern or maneuvering or something like that. I don't want to have to rely on my superior pilot skills, whatever they may be. keep myself out of a bad situation. So it looks pretty good. I've got a really cool thing. Oh, what's it doing? Oh, it's transitioning. I don't want to do that. Navigator transition to that last point. Do it back! <laughs> Not doing what I wanted to do. Silly thing. Anyway, I've got this really cool thing right here on my uh, both the uh, uh, PFD and the MFD, which is a little line, a little blue line that shows me where I'm going to be, where I'm going to reach my altitude, and then I can maneuver. You know, uh, you know that tells me that I'm going to be level at that point uh, to my destination. 
so I can adjust my descent rate appropriately, either increase it or decrease it. Uh, pretty cool feature. I think that Garmin G500s and uh, G500 and uh, 600s and stuff like that do that as well. All right, so I'm going to remove that point. That's really kind of a low, low workload. I like minimal drama um, when I'm flying. So that's kind of the whole target here. And when I get down to altitude, I'm going to be fast. But my manifold pressure should be back. So that'll allow me to bring my uh, speed back more under control. Where do I want to be? Uh, if I'm going to do shooting an approach, actually my target for an approach or for my VFR pattern is 120 knots. And I like it for this airplane. A different airplane, you know, whatever you fly, uh, fly what the appropriate speed is. That's what your target is. For me, uh, I like 120 knots. I like it for the approach. I like it for the pattern. And I usually don't change the power setting when I'm at 120. Because when I put the gear down, I'm going to lose 10 to 15 uh, knots right away. And that's about where I want to be, somewhere around 100. And as I start the uh, final space turn, and uh, or I start the approach. And then my target is um, gear down, approach flaps. This I have a choice, approach, which is half flap or full flap. And I don't use full flap until I'm on uh, short final, okay, and uh, I'm gonna land and uh, I'm not gonna go around, or I don't plan on going around, and uh, I'm kind of sort of committed to landing. There's always a situation might prevent that landing happening. And we'll do another video on go-arounds right now. We're not doing that today. This is just descents. Descent planning. So as you descend in a normally aspirated airplane, your manifold pressure goes up. How about that? So you're going to have to pull it back with some regularity. Go back to that frequency. In this airplane, it takes about 17 inches or so to slow down to about 120. We'll see what that happens, how that works out today. About 200 feet from my target altitude, and here are the bumps. Imagine that. And I'm right at the top of the green, got a couple of knots to go, so not a worry. I want to readjust that target to my pattern altitude of 1800. And I'm going to start rolling it back to about 17 inches, so when I do level off, it'll slow down. monitor our slowdown. Okay, fuel's good. Engine all looks good. Slowing down. Probably need to pull another inch off. There's 130, so we're getting there, getting just where we want to be. Portland traffic, quite bonanzas, so four miles, uh, five miles to the south, overhead the field, and uh, left down line for 17 Portland. So there we are. There's 120, we'll head back to 17-ish, so we can maintain that speed. That's my technique. What works for you? What, how do you plan your descents? And 
fuel flows, manifold pressure, and all that kind of stuff. Again, this is a uh, constant speed prop, so we got to do a little bit more planning. It's kind of a fast airplane. So, fun. Anyway, hope you like watching. If you did, hit subscribe. I appreciate that. Hit the bell if you want notifications the next time. It's right down there. And, uh, well, I appreciate you watching, so we'll see you next time on Flywire.